Caddis Max. So it's here this time just with a quick video about this uh, Powercraft 100 series, 100 foot pound, half inch drive deflecting beam torque wrench. Powercraft, of course, was the house brand of Montgomery Ward uh, department stores. And out of all the department stores, they pretty much had the best of the house brand tools. They were the ones who were really trying to compete with Sears Craftsman. A lot of them are pretty nice. Some of them aren't so great. But nothing, not 100% of everything's uh, perfect in the world. Powercraft 100, this isn't referring to the measurement, uh, the maximum capacity of this wrench. The Powercraft 100 series was their premium series, and it just happens to be that it's a Powercraft 100 series, 100 foot-pound wrench. Something I actually picked up at an estate sale. I rarely find anything in estate sales because, of course, as people know, they're just hounds who... Go crazy. They read, you know, there are people who just make livings off of estate sales. But I happened to have a hopping across uh, one that was a few blocks from me. So I decided to give it a shot. This was uh, apparently W. Crumbs, and he marked it several times. So now his tools in the new hands after that estate sale. Nothing better than a dead man's tools. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, beautiful torque wrench. I actually believe that this is made by SK. It isn't, I don't know exactly what series, but it is certainly pretty nice. Some things that really set it apart is this beam that protects the needle. As you can see, is one piece stamped steel that has these gussets, but they're not welded in there. It's all stamped in this fashion. So this is actually pretty durable. If you were to drop it and actually have it land on that part, it would actually hold up pretty well has nice solid rivets really surprisingly easy. the silver on black is one of the easiest to read deflecting beam torque wrenches I've seen really like that it's just super easy to be able to uh, catch any measurement that you're after if you want 20 foot pounds which is actually a surprising amount of force it's really easy just to catch that and what I might mean by SK ish um, let's see here oh look I happen to have an SK half inch drive deflecting beam torque wrench and this is what I mean is that these panels here they look really similar the curvature on the top is if we look at the side profile of the needles of both these torque wrenches if we look at the head design there is a bit of a difference it's still pretty darn similar so that's the why I have the feeling that at least this particular tool is actually uh, an unmarked SK so anyway these tools are pretty cool I should mention that the pivot, and I've since learned, is that you're supposed to attempt when you're torquing it to actually hold the handle right there and actually pivot on that. It isn't to make it more ergonomic, it's just to help uh, you apply force at a specific point so that you get a little bit more accurate. Of course, other great things about deflecting beam torque wrenches is that they never need calibration. As long as you don't bend or drop them, they're absolutely fine. The calibration is actually the main beam, so even if your needle gets bent, or is way off, you can actually bend the needle back because all it is is just connecting to the head and displaying how much the main bar is bending. And that's why the reasons are so accurate is because you're basing it on the elasticity of a specific grade and hardness of steel. It's all mathematics, it's super accurate. Another great thing about them is that they can read in both directions, forward and reverse, which can be handy in certain situations, such as, Many times with uh, automo and automotive applications, if you're working on driveline stuff and a wheel seems pretty hard to turn, there'll be a specific value on turning force and that'll be like 10 foot pounds or 15 foot pounds of force. So it's, these are really great where you can push on it and you can just see if the needle gets too high. They can also be used for other weird torque testing situations, although they don't tend to read particularly high. And I've actually never seen a three quarter inch drive, although they do make them of this style of torque wrench but you can even do something like take an electric drill excuse me the hiccups and we can even attempt to measure the torque whoa actually that's a bit torquier than i was expecting so a little bit harder in the hand i need to have this held i need to have the handle held pretty rigid so that i could watch the needle move instead of the whole wrench but nonetheless, they can be used in those types of situations. Although, admittedly, a dial would be better. So anyway, 
that was a little torque wrench talk, like to periodically talk about torque wrenches. And then, of course, nice ones, such as this Powercraft 100. And kind of re-emphasize some of the things that really sets apart just a more better quality one. This one sure is made in the United States, being a vintage tool. And just wanted to uh, make a video about it. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.